Thank you. The chair now recognizes itself for four minutes. Um, Madam Secretary, I, I thank you for your time. Um, I may go over some stuff you've already talked about. I'm not sure, but man, they keep us bouncing around around here. Um, I'm also chair of the uh, subcommittee for research and technology. So we talk about uh, anything from semiconductors, AI, hypersonics, even did a, a round table on quantum technology. And I kind of want to ask about your trip to China because China has stated that by 2045, they want to be not only just the economic leader, but militarily, socially, um, even in space. And, and from what we're gathering, a lot of it, they're ahead of us. Um, you take quantum technology, I think they spend more than the entire world on developing that. So I, I'd like to know what you may have found out, if, if any of that, if there's any if there's any evidence of that, they're ahead of us, behind us, beside us, uh, and what you learned there in China. Yeah. So look, I'm as concerned as you are that we can't let them get ahead, and we certainly can't let them get any of our technology to do things that could hurt us. Uh, you know, I, th I think that with respect to AI, the U.S. leads the world, and we need to stay there. I also know that as you say, the Chinese government is putting hundreds and hundreds of billions of dollars into these technologies with the express goal of dominating. So when I was there, I was clear that we don't negotiate when it comes to national security. We don't compromise. Um, and I was clear that we're not going to make any changes to, for example, our export controls, which is what I work on. Um, we're going to continue to vigorously control U.S. technology so they cannot get this technology for their military. And I also was clear that as long as they have this military-civil fusion strategy, where really everything is the military, and they can go into any company and take technology and use it for the military, that means we're going to have to be tougher than ever to control that technology from getting into the hands of their military. It's not that we want to you know, hold back their economy, per se, it, but we do want to hold back their military, and I was very clear in saying that. Yeah, well, I, I, I think we should hold back their economy, too. I'm very much America first, which I guess kind of leads me into my next question. I also sit on natural resources. So we've been all over the country talking about critical minerals and the fact that we're down to three smelters, China, processes 80% of our critical minerals here in from where what we provide. And um, as far as Taiwan and semiconductors, we know that China even threatened to withhold critical minerals from them. And, and, I, and I heard you the few minutes I was in here earlier, you were talking about making sure that we bring semiconductors home, and I, I wholeheartedly agree with you on that. But we have, in this administration, has really made a concerted effort and it's been several administrations to not allow people to mine here in the states. And, and I don't understand how you can um, advocate semiconductors here in this country when China's already shown that they're willing to withhold critical minerals and we're not willing to mine critical minerals here in our own country. So uh, I can't speak to what's been done in the past, but I, 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 I do think you're right, you're right. We are dependent on them and we have to do everything we can to either you know, mine here or on allied shores. Um, and for my part of it, you know, I'm gonna do what I need to do with export controls to hold them back. But when I think about chips, the chip's just one piece of it. It's the raw materials, it's the rare earths, the critical minerals, and we do need a holistic strategy on that. Right, right. All right, well, I am out of time, I thank you. Um, I want to thank the secretary for joining us today and the members for their questions. The record will remain open for 10 days for additional comments and written questions from members. Uh, this